I have a friend coming over, you guys, and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> this sounds like the beginning of a Mr. Rogers episode, but I promise it's not Mr. Rogers, although I think he would approve. Anyway, this buddy of mine is afraid of snakes, but he's about to encounter a whole bunch of them. Welcome to the green room. I'm Bob Bledsoe. Behind the camera, as always, is my brother Kent. Hi. That is the star of Kent's Corner, which seems to be a hit with the viewers, despite a gross amount of just terrible information. Thanks. Hi, everyone. Fears usually aren't rational, so trying to talk somebody out of their fear logically in one conversation doesn't usually work. Like, hey, man, don't be afraid of snakes. They're not trying to bite you. That usually doesn't do anything to get somebody over their fear. But when somebody learns a whole bunch of facts about something that they're afraid of, that usually helps the fear to subside. So people are usually afraid of snakes because uh, three different reasons. A, they've had a bad experience, like maybe when they were a little kid, an older sibling chased them around the yard with a snake. Uh, B, maybe they just have never been around snakes before and all they've heard is kind of negative stuff because snakes get a bad rap. And C, maybe they were just born with an ingrained fear of snakes. And I know this personally because I was kind of born with an ingrained fear of spiders. Uh, I know about spiders. I don't have bad misinformation about them. And I've never had a bad experience with a spider, but they kind of creep me out. They used to creep me out a lot more than they do now, but I've sort of worked on it. So I don't completely freak out anymore, but I know what that feels like to have a totally irrational fear based on nothing. And I kind of have always had it. So using your knowledge of human behavior and your knowledge of snake behavior will help someone get over their ophidiophobia. That's a fear of snakes. You can Google it. That's what I did about five minutes ago. So, new word. So my good friend Popeye is coming over. His real name's Josh, but I call him Popeye because that's his camp name. Popeye and I volunteer each summer at Camp Del Corazon on Catalina Island, a free summer camp for kids with heart disease. And it's the greatest place in the world. If you have any money left over after buying all those snakes, you might consider looking into Camp Del Corazon and maybe donating to it. Link is in the description. So Popeye is uncomfortable with snakes and that's about all I know. Let's cut to tomorrow when he's actually coming over and I'm gonna try and answer all of his questions and hopefully get him to handle some of these snakes. You guys, it's tomorrow and Popeye's here. Hello. Wait, I have a Kent's Corner. It proves that I warned Popeye of the dangers just in case he's killed by a man-eating snake today. In getting somebody comfortable with snakes, it doesn't help to refer to them as man-eating snakes. I'm just being honest. Are you though, Kent? Let's just roll the Kent's Corner. Hi, and welcome to Kent's Corner. I'm standing outside today so that I can warn Popeye of the snake infestation. So I'm just waiting for him to get here. You know what? I'm just going to turn off the camera to save the battery. You guys, he's here. Um, Popeye, come over and um, say hi to the camera. Oh, hey. Hi, everybody. So, uh, just so you know, there is a major snake problem in the facility. Oh. Oh, okay. But they're all still Bob's snakes, though, right? Well, yeah. He created the problem. So. Oh, okay. See, I, I came here to see them. I, I know about the snakes. Okay, well, no offense, but that is a really stupid decision, and you are very dumb. No offense, all due respect. Okay, I'll promise not to take offense. Cool, cool. So, as the unofficial legal department for Green Room Pythons, uh, Bob doesn't really know about it, but I have a waiver here for you to sign, pretty much just standard verbiage. This just says I won't sue if I die in there. Yeah, yeah, pretty straightforward. Did you need more time to read the document, or...? No, I'm good. Cool. Here we go. Thank you for watching uh, Green Room Pythons, um, Kent's Corner. This is Kent's Corner, and th th thanks for... Popeye, do you feel more or less comfortable after talking to Kent? No, 
I'm skeptically cautious about it, um, but I'm not so sure about the legality of the waiver I just signed. Yeah, I'm not sure that uh, I want waivers drawn up by Kent uh, at this point. But let's let's get going talking about snakes. Great. Um, what questions do you have first? Um, well, I grew up in Hawaii where we didn't really... There's no really there's no snakes native to the population native. Oh, this is great. What you're doing right now is great because um, uh, this is you know I don't really know why Popeye is afraid of snakes. So this is okay. Keep going. Oh yeah. So, so I'm I, sorry to interrupt. No, no. So I grew up in Hawaii where we didn't have snakes, so I was never really around them. And I guess my first you know it seemed at the zoo, but that was that would be it. Um, and but you couldn't you couldn't get close. It's just behind glass. Um, so. I was just always afraid of the unknown of the snake. Right. Um, and you, when you're a kid, you, you're kind of introduced to snakes if you don't have them around through television and movies and stuff. And, and uh, one of my heroes was Indiana Jones and in the temple of, you know, Raiders of Lost Ark. He hates snakes. He's afraid of snakes. Right. So I liked Indiana Jones and, and I hated snakes even though I didn't really re you know, have a good reason for it. I just right. knew he hated it, so that must mean I had to it. Hate seems it seems valid if Indiana Jones thinks something. No. That yeah. seems valid. <laughs> um, I want to watch that now and look at yeah. the snake pit because I bet the snake pit is all just a bunch of really docile like pythons. And, th- and, had, and then there's one where, where he's like rummaging around and then a snake pops up like this. And the big fan thing pops, you know, like that. Oh, it's a cobra? Yeah, yeah. Cobra, and then it's hissing, and so I'm like, oh, man, I know my first experience with a snake is going to be like Indiana Jones, and the the snake's just going to start wanting to hiss at me, and it's just going to leap at my face, and a big snake on my face, and... So, so have you ever had an interaction with a snake or seen a snake, like, in the wild? Uh, Once, when I uh, went to college in Arizona, and uh, this was only a couple years ago, I went to school for four years, four and a half, five years. Okay, I went to college for five years. Uh, He's a doctor, you guys. <laughs> he, went, he went through school really fast. Uh, you know, they, that first semester, they don't want to overload your class schedule, right. so they, uh, you take nine credits. But anyway, so I only saw a snake in Arizona for the first time like three or four years ago. Oh my God. Out hiking. Um, and I had my, and this is the one thing that you shouldn't do in, in the summer is to go hiking in the mountains with uh, headphones on. Because you, you want to hear stuff. You want to hear stuff, yeah. yeah. And I could not just listen to Van Morrison or whatever. And then I just see something moving, and it was uh, a snake. It was like a brownish black snake. Um, what and was I, your reaction? Uh, it was to go the opposite direction. <laughs> and also to take my headphones out. And then I did, maybe I, maybe I was in, in Boy Scouts or something, where uh, I learned that uh, you should make noise when you're walking. So you don't come up and scare a snake. Mm-hmm. So I would I found like a stick, and when I would walk, I would just drag the stick that would make like the vibrations or the sound that would hopefully scare a snake on the way back to my aunt's house. So you were thinking about a potential snake encounter before even encountering a snake. Yeah, okay. no, I had it in my mind. Like if I did see a snake, this is what I would do. Okay. Um, so that's a that's definitely a level of uncomfortability. Is that the right word? Uncomfortability. Yeah. Uncomfortable. Yeah. Uncomfortable. Because some people would bring out in the woods, they would bring like bear spray, you know, like like uh, pepper spray for bears in case they come across a bear. Right. So you're thinking of snakes. Um, well, yeah, I'm just thinking of like what to do, you know, if if a snake was in my vicinity and also maybe, yeah, move really, sl- move really slow. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess, when, you know, when I, when, when I'm out there, I don't really wear like... A lot of cologne or anything like body, you know, because I think that repel that that not repels them, but like that they can smell. They have really good sense of smell. Is is that right? Sort uh, sort of. Okay. I, yeah. I see. That's what I don't know. I was like, they can smell me when I'm in the desert. So so, so, so your thought is your yeah. thought process that they can smell me. They're going to come after me. Yeah. Like where they can smell me, they might they might be around. And also, like I just think because they're so low, they're low to the ground. They're on mm-hmm. the ground. That. Um, they're going to just bite at my ankle. They're just going to dart at my ankle and then the poison and I'm going to have to like suck the poison out and right. I'm going to have like an hour to live and I have to, you know, to the half an hour hike back to my aunt's house. And so, yeah, I would always walk with, um, 
socks, like those knee-high socks, but like fold them down so it gives Cause, you like because fangs can't get through socks. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, not, too, not like too late, like a layer of, of sock or like right. wear leather shoes. Or, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, boots. So yeah, so like that's the only time where I actively thought about the snakes because I, I knew okay. I would be in an area where they would be. Okay. Um, so let so let's talk about this for a second. Um, uh, if you're if you're going out and so first of all, sna- just snakes in general just don't want to be bothered and they've got all these defense mechanisms like a rattle um right. or or some sort of pose that they're looking uh they have all these defense mechanisms to tell people i'm right here please stay away and if they have to bite it's um uh it's it's something that they don't they don't really want to bite for sure mm-hmm. because uh, we're talking about a venomous snake um because that venom is saved for their food they know they're not going to eat you. Oh, they're not planning okay. on eating you. Their venom is for food. And um, and by the way, they also don't know they're venomous. Like, they don't understand what that is. They just right. know that they can bite an animal and shortly thereafter it dies and then they can consume it. So they're not trying to consume you, but they have a certain amount of venom. It gets restored eventually. Um, but it's kind of a big deal for them to bite. They could lose teeth, all kinds of stuff. Right. So uh, they just kind of, they have all these warning signs that's like, get away. So they never would smell you and then want to come after you. Okay. Like, they're, like, snakes. like a shark. I always think like a snake is like kind of like it's a like shark. It's like a shark, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, a shark is always looking for something to eat yeah. and that could eat a person or whatever. Yeah. But a snake just doesn't want to be messed with. They, are, they don't eat very often and it's stressful for them to eat, sort of. I mean, it's a natural thing, but they're, when they're consuming an animal, they're completely... Uh, out in the open and and vulnerable to to being eaten that you know snakes are constantly eaten by other predators right so and they know it they know that they're they're just sort of a meat tube slithering through the woods or whatever and um so so they would never come after you as far as like cologne they you asked if they smell well they do have a sense of smell but they also have a jacobson's organ which is when they flick their tongue out Mm -hmm. they're picking up particles in the air and pulling that back into their jacobson's organ which then figures out um, what's out there and directionally where things are. Oh, so okay. if they smelled your cologne, my guess is that it would be a new scent. They wouldn't know what it is. It might freak them out and they'd get away or they wouldn't do anything, but they certainly wouldn't go towards it. We're going to pull some snakes out. So okay. tell me uh, what concerns you have or questions that you have or anything like that. Some some snakes, they bite, but then also some snakes, they like just wrap themselves, coil themselves around whatever they want to eat or to die do that like yeah yeah so the, that's a constrictor which pythons are constrictors okay. and they'll if if they're eating they're going to strike the prey and coil around it just like a boa would or a python um uh if if a snake were to like if you were to go into a snake's enclosure and they bit you and wrapped your arm that's a feeding response they're not being defensive they're not they're not trying to get you away they're like oh i'm gonna eat this warm thing and they don't realize yet right. they're in they're in food mode or feeding mode and when they're in that mode, their brain shuts off and they're only acting on, on instinct. Huh, and okay. so right now they're like, I'm going to kill that animal. They don't realize that there's a giant animal that they could never eat right, right there. They just, they just know this, that they were real hungry and something warm came in front of their enclosure. So uh, none of my snakes have a feed response like that unless they smell rat in the room. If they do and then I put my hand in, I'll, I'll get bit. But like right now, there's no, I haven't thought out any rats or anything like that. Right. Um, so I can go into any of their enclosures and they won't have a feeding response. So do you want to see one? Yeah, I got two hands. Let's put them on, let's put some hands on these snakes. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's put some snakes on these hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, wait, ask me that question. Now we're on camera. Huh. Ask me that question again. Wait, so now we're going to see your snakes, but are they, are they dangerous? Or are they... <laughs> are they like, as I see you handling them all the time on your show, and yeah, they just look the show. kind of like like they're just hanging out, but... Yeah, they are just hanging out. They're not, okay. they're not dangerous. They, okay. So, uh, this is a great question. Um, for my sin- Now, ball pythons can bite, and, mm-hmm. and they do, and it doesn't... I saw you get bit that one time. I got bit by a Wilma python, Wilma, which is yeah, yeah, way yeah. worse than a ball python, but it still wasn't bad. Like, it's not yeah. a big deal. A bite from a snake is, uh, and especially from a ball python, it's more the the thought like we think oh i just took a snake bite that seems really bad right but it's not like their teeth are small really sharp and they will poke holes in your skin all over and there will be blood but their small teeth 
Okay. And it's not, it, it's like they're so they're so sharp that you barely feel it. Like a cat like, bite. Yeah, no, cats are way worse. Cats you feel oh. a cat scratch or a cat bite is right. way worse. I'm talking about you you would feel that. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you, you okay, would, I can handle that. Right, yeah, you would yeah, feel yeah. that and then you would be like, right. did that snake just bite me? This has happened before to okay. me, not with my ball pythons but others. I'm like, did I just get bit? And then I look and there's a little blood because the okay. teeth are really sharp. Right, right. right. But it's nothing. Okay. Anyway, my, so that being said, my ball pythons have never, I've never seen one even strike. Okay. They don't even get into a strike pose. They're all okay. super docile because yeah, I handle them all the time. They're just used to people. Let's leave it that way. That's the key with We're going to, we're going to start with the smallest one okay. this, and, and the one that is closest to a representation of a wild type ball python okay. that I have. All right. So, <laughs> so this, <laughs> oh, look at that. it's the smallest one. You can't have that reaction yet. I, it pooped on you. <laughs> oh, that's that's not poop. That's substrate. Oh, okay. It's a little substrate. Ooh, um, snaky. So so e so this is Evie, and she's such a sweetheart. So she's in this right now. She's a little bit um, she's a little bit tense. Like I'm feeling her body a little bit tense. That doesn't mean she's going to be defensive, right? Because she won't. And she's not she's not um, she's not curled up in a ball. Oh, um, goodness. Which you asked me that earlier, and yeah, I said let's yeah. talk about that on camera. Um, Popeye asked why they're called ball pythons. Their defense mechanism, their main defense mechanism, because they're not frightening animals, is to ball up and protect their head. Okay. So if she was feeling really uncomfortable, she'd be completely in a ball with her head protected. And the tongue, when it's just, because it goes out, it look, looks like it's going out a lot. It is. She's, is it breathing? She, no, is she it? is, um, she's checking out her environment, out. Okay. figuring yeah. out what her environment is. So this is a way to tell how they're feeling a little bit. So right now, she, she is feeling pretty good because she's got kind of nice slow tongue flicks she's cruising around if her tongue flicks got real rapid mm -hmm. or completely stopped and she went still mm -hmm. uh she, <laughs> it's just, it's, your body language is a little like, tense like a foot i'm like a foot away <laughs> he's looking she's looking at me she's <laughs> looking at you she's totally oh, sizing you up oh my god <laughs> uh, this is a total honest reaction right. oh my god i know so uh, so Look, she I, is. Do I hold? Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so just like that, I'm just gonna yeah. let her okay. check out. Oh, the... wow! So she's just gonna check you out. She's totally curious. A lot of yeah, she, you know, she's a baby still. Yeah, she's yeah. like four months old or something. Oh my goodness! And this is lovely. It's like it feels like a like a, a garden hose. It's all like, yeah. it's got water going through it. Yeah, yeah. So and you can manipulate her like you can you can uh, kind of move her around and whatever she's totally used to it and and she's very comfortable for a baby of this age you know a lot of snakes that aren't used to being held. Um, I feel like if I fold her the wrong way she's like. No, she'll be fine. She's gonna. Oh my god! Look at that. <laughs> can I now? Do they like their heads pet? No. Okay. <laughs> no, but I like cats. Too. It is Ooh. it is good. I'm, while you while you get over your fear here. Uh, it is good, at least for me, I choose to touch their heads a lot and the tips of their tail a lot because um, I want them to be desensitized to that. That's Those are really sensitive spots for ball pythons. But if I take them to the vet or something like that, I want them to be used to having their heads messed with. So, I mean... What do you think? It's, <laughs> it's, when, they, when she looks at me, that's the only thing. Like, What are they thinking when they look at you like that? Um, she's just checking you she's out. Checking she's out. never been held by you. It's a slightly different oh. smell, I would imagine. She knows that she's being held by someone. I think that they can tell the difference between between people. Do they? Can they? Do they see like black and white or color? Like, yeah, they actually. I just read an article about that. They can see color, and and uh, they think oh. there's been studies done where they can see blue, which they can see your shirt oh. in green, blue and green. You told Maybe. me to wear blue. <laughs> I did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't tell you to wear anything. Oh. Uh, wow, this. Oh, yeah, I feel almost like, mm, oh, like Britney Spears in that um, snake music video. Yes, you are exactly like Britney Spears in that oh, snake music video. Oh my goodness! That, I. I mean, I, okay. This is like this is the size of snake that I could handle. See myself handling because it's cool because you're gonna handle bigger. Wow, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's a little bit bigger, right? And but she's still very young. And look at how crazy she looks compared to Evie. Yeah, yeah. now so Evie had like more broken up the brown spots. This mm -hmm. is, it seems like a more of a continuous line mm -hmm. of of that. What is? It's just visual genetics. So Evie was very close. She was she's a vanilla. 
Okay. And she has a, she's heterozygous, so she's, she's um, got one copy of a gene that um, I'm not disclosing yet, but is really cool. Hmm. Uh, it's a recessive gene, so she's not showing it. So all she is showing is a vanilla. This little girl here is a pastel freeway, and a freeway is a combination of two genes that gives her that look. Oh, because it looks like a freeway? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Um, it's and like, the, and, it's like and a couple the, of large bananas. The super light, the super lightness of her is the pastel. Okay. So would you like to hold it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. She's she likes you. Look. Okay. She's, now do I just put my hand under sure. her? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So she she was real timid oh, when goodness. I first got. Yeah, yeah. I got her the same day that I got Evie. Oh. And she was real timid when I first got her, and oh, okay. um, she's really come out of her shell. Is there a certain way they like to be held? Am I? <laughs> like that is great. Yeah, if you you can you can hold them naturally just in your hand, whatever they they want to have. I don't want to like the fear of like squeezing them. Or, like... Yeah, you're not gonna squeeze. Okay. You're, you're not gonna squeeze her. Uh. Um, they'll kind of go where they want. Ball pythons are mainly terrestrial, but <laughs> now, now, now you don't have to feed her. I mean, just... you, you don't have to That's... to okay. fold her. Yeah, I, yeah. Just she'll like... go wherever you want. Okay. She'll, and she'll wrap her tail around your finger or whatever. Oh wow. Um, is, uh... And so here, let's do this. Let me. What? <laughs> so they're head shy. Yeah, yeah. And and so they'll the only time they move really fast is mm -hmm. if they're eating food or if I do that. Now she knows my hands uh, there, so if I boop her on the nose, she won't do that. But you can just hold her like you can hold. Yeah, so you can like just kind of do this. Yeah, you don't have to ah, fold them okay. or, or manipulate them at all. Um, it's just ah. fun. But that ha <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> Ticklish. What? When, the, when the head moved, when the head moved on my. Oh, look at that! I know, it's so cute, look, right? Look at that! So this kind of thing happens a lot where you accidentally touch their nose and they go, <gasps> yeah, yeah, like this. Um, do, but do they like to hang down like that? Or well, it's not. It's not that they like, like to hang they down. Just it's do just it. that yeah. she is exploring her environment. Oh man, it's just yeah. Like I was gonna say, so slithery. That's what they're she's doing. <laughs> they're pretty slithery. Wow. But wow, yeah. It's. It, I mean, it's interesting to see it just slide over through our hands like that yeah all right next one we're going fast okay uh, all right so this is molly malone okay and she's bigger but still not adult she's, no 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 yeah it's she is uh what is she let's see here hold her okay. for a second oh we're gonna see how old she is it's like you feel the little like the muscles in their body like you can uh -huh. feel like yeah yeah and if you hold her here by her fattest part she'll feel more supported okay Oh yeah, um, yeah. So holding a snake. Holding a snake. So Molly Malone was hatched September second of twenty twenty. Huh. So whatever that is, if you do that. your math. Yeah, it's a not even a year. Yeah, she, yeah. No, she's well, not. She's. Um, what are you gonna do for your birthday? Well, it's moving around. Holy smokes! What's it doing? <laughs> it's like getting all so coily. So she's kind of upside down right now. Oh, so if you, okay. If you, yeah. There you go. Ah, uh, yeah. Getting. Like, that's the thing. I just so nervous she, about squishing them or so. Yeah, you're not going to squish her. Okay. Um, she's just getting herself comfortable because oh, yeah. she was upside down. Hang out. Oh, look at that. And you see her tongue flicks? Like, yeah, these, are, yeah, these yeah. are nice. She's just kind of checking things out. I'm showing her my hand. Now, this oh, happens a lot. This, this is interesting, you guys. She likes you. Well, I don't want to say that this is for sure, but what I think happens, because I've had other people hold the snakes before, um, usually, like, if I put my hand next to their enclosure mm -hmm. they don't crawl right onto my hand but when i hand them to somebody else and then show them my hand they sniff it and crawl right on and i huh. think so i think that they do recognize it's not that they like me or or you know but they do recognize. they do know my scent and and they know that this is something that that they're used to whereas you're not something she's used to right so and maybe so it makes them a little bit uncomfortable maybe she could smell fear too <laughs> <laughs> it's possible as possible but you see how sort of stiff she is like yeah, she's I, not letting our hands go right I, yeah yeah, yeah. Right now. um so she's a little bit you know but but not defensive so even no, if she's yeah. uncomfortable right now she's not she's not uncomfortable enough to ball up she's still checking out her environment she's Aww. completely open and exposed as far as they're concerned now how where is a snake's heart on their body Oh, um, like I'm gonna take a guess at right there. I'm gonna guess so it's upper like upper third, third down, the okay. lower part of their upper third. I'm totally guessing, you guys. Somebody look up Google uh, Snakes Anatomy. Snake Heart. That's a good name for a band too. Oh, that is a good name. For, let's start a band. Okay. 
Snake eyes. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna ah, put yeah. her back. <laughs> Take two because I wasn't shooting. All right, so the inspector has just uh, been pulled out, and uh, what what did you ask me that I answered and we weren't rolling? Uh, why did you name him the oh, inspector? Oh, why? Oh, right, right. Uh, so the inspector, I named him the I named him Detective Inspector Rorschach um, because. <laughs> Fits on a business card. Yeah, it fits on a business card. Because when I put when I first put him in his bioactive enclosure, he stopped and inspected every single plant in there. Like he was so careful about his inspection. Mm -hmm. And then Rorschach, because of his head stamp. Yeah, look it looks at that. Like it, yeah. it looks like a Rorschach test. Look at his head stamp, you guys. Isn't that crazy? Yes. Yeah. So um, now can I just like all the other snakes, I didn't notice like the holes on the sides of their mouth. Is that like their noses or like you seem very sort of um reluctant and <laughs> a little bit no nervous. but there's there i see yeah. more like yeah so those are heat pits they they all have they all have them ah. um all pythons except woma pythons and blackhead pythons if there's another type that i don't know about you guys put it in the comments um all pythons except those two that i named have heat pits okay. and so this can tell him that there's something warm in front of him Ah, uh, okay. And uh, and that's how that's how that happens. Where you you know have a snake that's hungry, you open the cage and get your hand close, and they'll just strike because right. they feel something warm, and and they're not thinking; they they're just assuming it's prey. So <laughs> I'm handing them to you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Woo, puppy! Oh my goodness! Look snake. at that! Snakey snake! Now don't put them upside down. Oh yeah, you yeah, won't right. be comfortable with that. Right. Well, um, they just kind of like go in that direction. Like okay. Oh, nice. So I'm just gonna let him. I'm gonna let him hang on to me for a second too, yeah. so he knows that he's still. Ah, uh, it's it's just moving. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, once you kind of get the hang of it, you know, you yeah. feel like an old pro right now. And oh, you're definitely an old pro for sure. <laughs> I could walk around with a guy with a guy like this in my arm. Yeah, I mean, he he would. Uh, he can curl around your neck and whatever. Huh. He does like I put him on my neck. And he will squeeze, mm -hmm. but he's not trying to kill me. Right. He's um, uh, he's just trying to get a grip, and he and sometimes he likes. The, I think he likes the warmth, and whatever. But um, do they help? Like yeah, yeah. But he's pretty strong, yeah. so he'll like. I can feel my face getting red if he's really squeezing. So I just take the end of his tail. He's okay. He's gonna go up over you. Oh head. really? Okay. Yeah. Um, and again, he's never struck. Yeah, yeah. He went, like, and he's not defensive or right, anything. Yeah, right. There'd yeah. be no I, reason for him. This is just all. From not ever handling a snake before. I know, that's I know. Just, You're doing really well. I blame media and uh, movies and television that I've watched. <laughs> you, you, you blame Indiana Jones. I blame Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh, and they're, I think they're doing another one. It's just oh, really? all snake oh. related. <laughs> good, good. All right, so wow. here he comes. He's going he's gonna to oh, check out hey your Hey, buddy. What'd you do today? What are you doing for Mother's Day? It's coming around. Yeah. Oh, you're right. He, he goes around and down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's just checking you out. He's just seeing what sort of real estate he can get himself on. Yeah, do I, like... Okay. No, just, just hang on to him. He's good. He's just <sighs> checking things out. He's going to yeah. check out the door behind you. Okay. Oh, nice. I have a question. Okay. It's ticklish. Can we go bigger? Uh, wait, I thought this was your biggest. No, one. no. Oh. No, males don't get as big as females. Oh, look at He's coming around. Look oh, at that. Look at that. He loves you. Uh, this must, is snake love. Must be because of my blue shirt. He loves you. Oh. There's no such thing as snake love. Oh, guys. snake love. He loves you. Can you give us Can you give us some cups? Can you give us some time yeah. to be alone? <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, you said to, okay, cause you said to keep it so you don't, like, Put him upside down. They look, they look, yeah, well, he's not going to go upside down. He's fu he's fine. He's cruising around you right now. You are a warm tree to him. He right thinks now. I'm a tree. Yeah, a warm tree, which Aww. is great for him. Look he at likes this, the look warm. Let's go around my dick. <laughs> oh my goodness! He was, oh. This girl is who I oftentimes would start someone out on. Not my smallest one, but one of my one of my larger breeder females. Okay. Um. I mean, it, it looks like it's got a. Oh, <laughs> I've seen this one. Right, you've seen this one. So this is Lucille, and and the reason that I start people off with Lucille is she is the least intimidating looking snake. Really? Because Come well, on. to to most people, I guess that's a that's a matter of opinion. But 
I guess the smallest one would be the least intimidating. Well, that that's true also, but... Oh, but it's got a happy face. She's got a happy face on her, and she's all white. Hi, baby girl. Oh. I think that's what, yeah, with... Like, the nervousness with snakes is when they look at you, they, yeah, I, you know, the dogs, they let you kind of know what they, when they look at you, what they're thinking or feeling. But with snakes, you can never tell what they're thinking. Why are you backed up like that? Because the... She wants to smell you. Let her, let her, let her smell you. <laughs> but see okay ah oh. see what i thought was going to happen in this video you guys is i was i was going to show popeye like one snake or two snakes and then all of a sudden he would be totally comfortable not flinching anymore that is not the case here well it's, I guess but it's look at that you got look but, at that but this is this is bravery this is what we call bravery we call this a, a rep, reptile necktie this is cool i'm oh, just gonna move it away from my neck no, but let her. You can, you can let her. She's not going to squeeze hard on your neck. And if she did, you just take the tail. This is what you do, you guys. If your snake is squeezing your neck too hard, just take the tail and move it off or take the head and move it off. And also, if you're a smaller person and you have a larger snake, just don't let them wrap around your neck. A ball python is probably not going to be a problem, but um, they could, depending on your physical ability or your size or whatever. Oh, look at that. Look at it. that. Super cute, right? Yeah, now, I mean, now when I'm behind it, I feel more... When it's not coming at you. When it's not it's... coming at me, yeah. yeah. You can feel their muscle right underneath. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. They're just a big muscle. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're going to go bigger. Okay. Wait, did, mm -hmm. you said the last one was the last one. <laughs> no, I didn't. I <laughs> said next one. Oh, I said next. next. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is the last one that we're going to bring out. Okay. And this is the biggest. I don't know why I'm, I mean, yeah, that is that's a lot bigger. And so she, so this is a big ball python. She's also for sure the most dangerous. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> she's not, she's super sweet. And, yeah, that's... and uh, I didn't raise her. The last person to have her. Uh, I've seen pictures of her playing with um, his three-year-old daughter. I mean, yeah, this, I get why Indiana Jones didn't like snakes. I mean, this, it looks like a snake you'd see in the jungle. Yeah, yeah, she does. She really does. She has one gene. It's called pinstripe. Yeah. And, and uh, that's what makes her look like this. Um, and she's very large for, I mean, there are ball pythons that'll get bigger than this. Mm -hmm. but, but she's a pretty big girl. Um, and so when my, I've got a nephew who's five and he likes to come over and play with the snakes. Mm -hmm. And I always start him with Damara because if his energy is a little bit crazy, I know that she's the one snake that's not going to react to crazy energy. Oh, okay. So, I mean, yeah, she's I... just used to kids. She's used to people. She's totally, uh, <sighs> but yeah. she looks the most intimidating because she's yeah. dark. She's dark. Like yeah, she's big yeah. and she's dark. Uh, she just wants to check you out. Okay. Maybe she'll, I just want to see if she moves on to you. Okay. Well, maybe I'll... So I'm going to hand her to you. Okay. Um, just try to support her entire coils because she's okay. building follicles. Right. She's due to probably ovulate in a oh, month wow. or so. Yeah. So I don't want to have her out for too long. But but then you'll just... Hi, baby girl. Big I'm old... still here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And she'll, she's usually happy to explore and everything. But right now she's kind of... It's so big. Much bigger than... Mm -hmm. Wow. How heavy, how, like, do you, you weigh them in grams or pounds? Yeah, you weigh, you weigh them in grams, and she's um, almost 4,000, I think, but uh, okay. seven or eight, seven to eight pounds, I would guess. I should weigh her again. Now, the other one you said had a, this has, looks like a freeway pattern, too. Is that wrong? Or well, is that... this is, this is pinstripe. pinstripe. So she's okay. got, she definitely has striping down her sides mm -hmm. and, and like that, but this is a gene that, that does a lot of, Cool pattern stuff but it's been around for a while and it's really common okay so you can buy a baby pinstripe for like a hundred bucks um they're they're a really cool looking animal that is not expensive to get into and uh she um I put it around my neck you can you can she's pretty strong but she also doesn't usually squeeze when she when she gets around and she also may not go oh you're just gonna do it okay well is, i don't know how you okay you got it She'll, when she's, when she's really moving around, you know, which she's not right now, but when she's really moving around, cool. she'll, she'll climb up on top of my head and kind of curl around my head wow. and, and the body's she likes, cool. She likes to be up high. Yeah. Her, her body's colder. Wow. Um, yeah. It's like a cool pack. Yeah. Hi baby. Hi mama. Now how old is this? She was born in 2015. Okay. Oh wow. So she's, she's absolutely fully grown. 
Um, they will. She will grow a little bit more, but but this is a this is a full grown adult snake. And like I said, Minnie won't even get this big. She's she's a good size. I like this snake. Right. <laughs> you seem very comfortable. I like it. Oh my goodness. So, how do you feel about like? Do you think with, with the big snake on your neck? Do you yeah. think that this experience has? Uh, has gotten you over any snake fears or anything like that? I mean, it's gotten me over the the fears of these snakes. <laughs> okay. I just okay. don't know about any other snakes. And I think it would probably be a little bit higher fear factor-wise if you weren't here. Mm -hmm. Or if we weren't in this sure. space like this. Like if I just saw a snake like this out on uh, Chandler Boulevard or wherever, or I would probably not be this comfy with no i snake. agree because yeah. you do, you wouldn't know you, you wouldn't, wouldn't know how they were going to react wouldn't know yeah or right, like sure. if i saw this traveling uh i wouldn't i wouldn't be this friendly with a snake out in the wild no of course not no yeah. but, but but knowing with me giving you some information right, on each yeah. individual snake and i mean the fact that i signed that waiver too <laughs> <laughs> you just signed the waiver should we do a sign off yeah let's do it let's, okay let's, let's do the sign let's off. do let's do the sign off together okay Thanks I for joining thanks us, you guys, and, and um, for watching hit the like button, Arizona. and a, hit the subscribe, the and never, thanks very much. Gonna, I'm loving snakes. That's great. That's a good sign. That's great. Yeah, really yeah. That was not an effective sign-off.